So, what are your questions for today? As what's the age of and I'm gonna answer your questions. Where are your questions then? How is the Earth protected from asteroids? Well, the other planets can do it, and the Sun has strong gravity, so it can also pull many asteroids to it. But because there's gas giants, many gas giants are very strong gravitational pull, considering. Saturn, strong gravitational pull, ripping its moon, creating its own rings. Jupiter having small rings because it didn't do that thing. Same thing with Saturn. But Jupiter has the most strongest gravity as its size is the largest. The largest size, more gravity. The sun is so huge, it can orbit from so far. So it's actually getting protected from almost all the gas giants, but more likely Jupiter has a strong gravity as actually more closer to the out, uh, Kuiper belt than any uh, any other and stronger. The strongest and not the really closest, Neptune is most closest to the asteroid, asteroid belt, but Jupiter is more closer to the ice. The <coughs> it's the strongest planet closest to the asteroid belt. And that's the and Jupiter is the only strongest planet as the size is bigger than any other planet in the solar system. It can still, it's so big that its size is all the planets combined. <coughs> it's so large that it gulps almost all of the asteroids. And that's, and Jupiter is titled as Earth's Defender or Earth's Guard. The moon gets hit by all the craters because of the gravitational pull of the Earth. The Earth has such strong gravity, strong gravitational pull, but still low gravitational pull at the same time, like in a short space, but still in a four radius. And that asteroids will get attracted by the Earth when they encounter Earth's gravitational pull. And then they sometimes start, you know, going around Earth because there's two asteroids already got captured by Earth's gravitational pull as they got in. So, some asteroids could just go around Earth, eject from Earth's gravitational pull, or crash on Earth, or crash on the moon. Because more likely on the moon, because asteroids are... As they encounter the moon's gravity, it gets stronger and stronger if they're, if the moon is more likely aligned with the Earth because they'll just add up their gravitational pull. And all of those gravitational pull will just attract more likely of the asteroids, creating them faster and faster, making a larger crater, but sometimes smaller asteroids, small crater, but large explosion. Earth is more likely protected by its oceans or more likely on its moon, Jupiter, or any other planets. Sometimes they just collide on dwarf planets. More likely, they collide with themselves if there's like a meteor shower. A meteor shower is just all asteroids trying to collide and like so many of them trying to head to one planet. So many of them trying to head to one planet like a ginormous shower. Like when you take a shower, all of those water just rain into you. It's called a meteor. A meteor shower is the same thing, but this time with rocks. Yes, asteroids are just rocks from space. That's what people call them. Some asteroids carry water. That's why we have water from Earth. It didn't magically come from unknown ice. No such thing as unknown ice from space because water only formed because of hydrogen and oxygen. Oxygen formed from life because before, life was there. So next thing. <coughs> The next thing, all of those asteroids can clump up to one planet. See a creator of small rocks when they crash from Earth, creating the moon. So that's why low density rocks came from Earth to moon. And asteroids are just helpful for us because they will just help us discover more things about dinosaurs, what killed them. Even the dinosaurs died because of a large asteroid. Next thing, all, almost all planets outside actually are protected from those asteroids. So because all of those planets are so strong in gravitational pull than other inner planets, inner planets have less gravitational pull, but makes sense. That's why they literally have rocky layers because all of those rocks from outside will just go into the inside, but sometimes many of them just go outside. <coughs> <coughs> All of those 
asteroids will actually clump up and well they call them asteroids actually more likely earth before got hit by an asteroid but a ginormous rocky object because of all the asteroids clumping up creating sea the, the only object that crashed into the earth rogue planet rogue planet means an a circular object going around and alone without any star all of those things will be very cold more likely sometimes very hot as they keep their heat and more likely all all of those debris creating a small ring around the earth but not for too long well they did clump up but they didn't separate automatically as that thing already cooled down into a very very low point creating the moon but that that time well the earth might have still be hot because that time then the moon got burned and its twin well crashed into the moon back moon so there's no craters on the back moon but now there's asteroids hitting the moon and the moon and the moon and you can see the moon have so many craters fun fact mercury has the most craters in the solar system and no gas giant can have craters as it's going to be reformed by its own gas so thank you for today please remember to like and subscribe Thank you, and I'm going to ask you any other questions if you have.